Hello, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, here we are again to our conversations and this is our Christmas episode. Yes, so today is the 15th of December 2021 and as you can see we have a little surprise for you. I think the end of the year is a time for looking back and looking forward and seeing uh, where we are basically. So why not pull a few cards to help us on our way? A few cards <laughs> on the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's important to set intentions to close the year and to set intentions for the new year to make a, a mark, a mark in time and preferably a positive mark. Yeah. yeah. Please, some positive. Yeah, because uh, where are we at the moment? More restrictions? Etc. Etc. Fundamental laws uh, mm -hmm. attacked, yeah. under attack. Yeah. So I think it's it's really crucial to basically set our intentions and manifest, really manifest the best outcome for us. Because through the years, with my spiritual. Um, uh, background and, and your background education journey um, I've come to believe that you really can manifest and it's a different thing than positive thinking because positive thinking is uh, skipping over the, the the darker sides but I believe in enlightening the the dark the shadow and do the shadow work so yeah. it's really being looking at every aspect of everything so I think manifesting something positive manifesting the per most perfect loving outcome is is something else than positive thinking yeah how is that for you um, sometimes I think positive thinking is the easy way out mm -hmm. to jump over every um, Bowner, mm -hmm. uh, whilst uh, one candle can enlighten a whole room. Yeah, I and I yeah. think that's that's the most important thing, yeah. especially when it gets darker outside. Trees lost their leaves. It's uh, it's getting colder. It's getting more mm -hmm. wet. Mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, dark, dark in the house. Yeah, and every day. When I light in the candle, and I come downstairs, then the whole room is glowing from that one little, little flame. Yeah. And everything that goes for the humans as well. Yeah. And everything we can't see, we, we, we can't see, <clears throat> there are no leaves on the trees right now, but there is life in the roots. So um, let's manifest that all this life, everything that is now underground can uh, sprout back up in, in spring, basically. Yep. Winter it is a time for reflecting, looking back, going inside um, and then prepare. Yeah, prepare mm. for darker times and prepare also for new life in the spring. Mm -hmm. I always feel it, it's, 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 it's the double, double edged sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we can't skip winter. No, no, we have to go through this. We can't escape really anything. Those dark days that have arrived at the moment. We can't escape anything. <laughs> no, we have to go through. <laughs> Sometimes I wish we could, but <laughs> no. it's, it's not working like that. No, <laughs> no, no. You have to deal with what you get presented on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, let's see what we have to deal with. Let's uh, pull our first card. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Uh, before we do that, these are Private Lessons from the Soul by Denise Lynn. And I'll put the, the, um, the title of the deck in the description box. Mm -hmm. But these are the, the Dutch version. Well, couldn't this be more appropriate at this time? In Dutch it says macht. So we in are English power. Power. And 
um, we can see it both ways. We can see that the, the, the dark side that we talked about, that we feel restricted by, has power. But we mustn't forget that we also right now have power. How do you read the card? Um, I think it's a multi-layered card because uh, the light is power, vibration is power. Yeah, there's the rays of light. Yeah. Good intentions mm -hmm. is power. Mm -hmm. uh, power can corrupt. Yeah. The more you or the longer you are in a powerful position, the more corrupt you'll probably get. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, for me, it's a multi-layered card. And, and I like the colors, by the way. Yeah, orange, earthy, and all yes. these stars. And this looks like a sun. Mm -hmm. About talking about dark and light. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, that we that we mustn't forget our our inner light, mm -hmm. the light that is being uh, dimmed right now. But then it, we have to manifest. When we talk about manifesting, we we can't forget that we we have this power and we have this energy and we have this light energy, these high frequencies, so we can step into our own sovereignty. I think is the crucial thing we have to do right now and take our power i think it's probably one of the last moments we can seize back our power mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that might be a bit too gloom <laughs> but i really i really think like that yeah well yeah we, we can do it on this 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 small scale by declaring yeah. for yourself yeah Absolutely. You have to start with yourself and then, then live it and, and, and take, take this. Uh, we see this word power in a very light, colorful uh, card. So power isn't anything bad um, when, used, when used correctly. But I guess that that's with everything. Everything is uh, neutral until you give meaning to it and that might be a positive or a negative meaning mm -hmm. and every word um, brings up a feeling and every feeling makes you act in a certain way yeah so that's the that's the, the driving way, force that's a driving yeah. force so yeah. but in actuality mm -hmm. uh, everything is neutral yeah power is neutral winter is neutral uh, no leaves on the tree neutral um, being stressed, neutral, unless stress is bad, uh, I don't I like it. I don't like winter, there need to be leaves on the trees, um, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But in origin, it's neutral. And life goes on, whether you like it or not, uh, whether you feel like it or not, uh, whatever you live through or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many people lost their um, their work, houses, families split because of the measures. Mm -hmm. You might classify it as, as bad, as a bad year. But there are also people who found their light. There are also people who found their strength uh, or a new way uh, of living. Mm -hmm. Who are and not just surviving, but really thriving. So it depends from which side you look. Yeah, that's true. The, way, the way you label the, the neutral event. Yeah. Every event, event is neutral, yeah. but the way you, you label it with your own filters, with your own background, yeah. that makes it, um, yeah, how it is. Power. Well, let's... Um, it reminds me of a song. Oh, which song? <laughs> For God's sake, why don't you give more power to the people? <laughs> it's just popping right in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how to navigate this power? This is an advice, the middle card. So, uh, let's see what we have. Oh, dear. In the middle, it says success. 
and Yay. it has a, a, a hand with a star and the color is blue so what you said uh, people are now also thriving so what do you think about um, navigating um, this power by doing what you love best and what brings you success <laughs> usually when you do something that you love doing usually is successful yeah it's true <laughs> yeah and also i i think it's um i love the color blue mm. it's uh, also the the color of the throat uh, com communication, singing, uh, uh, give a voice to what you stand for, mm -hmm. what you want, and reach out, and also reach out. Yeah, yeah. It's the hand with the with the star. Well, there's, there here are stars. There's also a star. Mm -hmm. So I think the the advice is. Um, yeah, do, do, um, continue doing what you are already doing, continue doing what you, uh, what, what is successful, uh, that feels well, and, um, and then you can strongly manifest it in your life, don't you think? It's a way, it's a learning way. Mm -hmm. If I look back on this year, um, there are many times that I've been really, really angry because of those measures. And not that I live and that I'm living my life in a different way as uh, previous to this, but mostly also for other people. And also because I had um, a feeling like where it, where it goes to mm -hmm. and what might happen and mm -hmm. what I do not want to happen mm -hmm. I absolutely do not want to happen so it's it's also um, letting go letting go of um, fear letting go of anger letting go of uh, mind-made constructions on how I would like to have it mm -hmm. and finding a way around it to take back my own power in a successful way and not in a fight mode but like okay it's like this what can i do to go around it above it underneath Under it, it. <laughs> go <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that yeah and what is it what i like doing like what you said what is it what i like doing to uh, to fill my days uh, to feel uh, softness without ignoring uh, all the bad things that are happening. But it's like a way of uh, keeping upright. Yeah. Like there's no one who can force me to take or to do something what I don't want. No. No way. No way. Mm -hmm. No freaking way. No effing way, no no way, <laughs> <laughs> just no way. Standing in your power, yeah, and and and, and bring it to a success. And yeah. I think this is an advice card, so believe that it is successful. It will be. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what's the outcome. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Focus attention. Okay. So we have a star again with a beaming light. So I think it's uh, how do you feel about it? If you are talking about intention and manifesting, mm -hmm. you need focus. You need focused attention to, to get it done. Yeah. Right. There's no other way. You cannot manifest 
uh, when your attention is going here, going it's there, it's, it's scattered all over the place. It's not yeah. working. No. Yeah, you can get things done. Yeah. Uh, but it's on the automatic pilot. Yeah. And but when you work with um, focused intention, mm -hmm. it's it's like a what's it called a beamer. Yeah. A projector. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like poof. <laughs> yeah. On one point, just like like meditation is a is training this one pointedness. Focus on the breath. Focus on the here and now. There are just two things in in human life that are in the here and now mm -hmm. which is your breath i mean you cannot breathe tomorrow because no no you'll be dead <laughs> you don't know if no. you're still here so yeah yeah and your heartbeat mm -hmm. those two things are in the here and now so if if you can learn to focus on those two things you will uh, find more focus during your day as well and you don't need to sit for hours and hours it's just reminding yourself every time like focus you, you might want to meditate five minutes a day mm -hmm. um, maybe during the day when you're in the office and you're going to the toilet focus on your breath mm -hmm. follow your breath for like three breathe in breathe out so it doesn't have to take much time out of your busy days. No. But it's every time reminding your um, your mind, your body, your soul, uh, I'm here to focus on this task, uh, what I want to do today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And taking out those few minutes, uh, you will find out your task will be done way sooner. It's true. That's... Yeah. And uh, what comes to mind when you talk about this focus and this, this, this focused attention, what the card says, I think we will be given reasons to focus on, don't you think? I think that let's, let's, let's um, hope that our power will make cracks in the, in the system so that we keep on focusing so more light can can uh, pour through so we we it's like holding the line keep focusing keep um, uh, feeling our success keep uh, powerful within ourselves we we can't bend over we can't uh, <laughs> we we can't you can't lose it, basically. <laughs> so we, it's uh, so we have to keep focusing, keep, keep doing this. Don't mm -hmm. you think it's an encouragement of some sort? What <laughs> <laughs> um, I found out the last year, the last months, um, is the most the, the more focused you are. Uh, you, you start with making cracks into yourself, into your own belief system, in uh, cracks into what you think it should be, mm -hmm. and which it isn't. And that's, that's why you, the first. Step. That's the first step. Yeah. You, you start making cracks into yeah. your own belief system, and when in, you in, program. in your own programming, um, and when you uh, have that out of the way your own light starts to shine through and when it starts to shine through uh, you can focus it again like a beamer mm -hmm. Boom. and start yeah. start shooting <laughs> <laughs> into the narrative which is going on now yeah and then you need your focus i think to do that i think it's i have this 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 image in my head of breaking of neo from the matrix breaking out of this of the matrix I can't remember the scene, but there, there was also a lot of light involved. And perhaps I'm making this up, but that's the image I, I have in my. So you, 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 you tear down your own, your programming, your, uh, your fixed uh, thoughts. And in a way, which feels powerful. 
and in a way you're a bit lost at first can be very emotional yeah can be very uh, depressing can be very um can make you feel sad you uh, can make you it, it's a loss it's a mourning um but we have to keep on going this is the outcome you don't have any other choice but to go no, on this is literally out of the box and it's it's yeah. also freeing in a way don't you think Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I don't know freeing and uh, no not necessarily or liberating yeah liberating but i better think word, perhaps. Mm. when you start breaking mm -hmm. it might feel like liberation but i do think freedom uh, is within yourself and within That's your own mind starts. yeah um and i think that that's a very valuable lesson of last year yeah which i'm more than willing to take into the next year mm -hmm. oh, with those uh lockdown is uh, sh <laughs> shitty shit <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> lockdown is um but um i think i've said that before even when you get locked up in your own house you can still feel free on your one square meter if you have a focused attention if you're doing something you like doing i think that might be uh, might be the key yeah and maybe maybe the only key to break down your own walls it's a form of enlightenment i think don't you think well you can use everything as a form of enlightenment and especially i think especially in times like this we almost have two years now of this mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> i don't know what yeah, to call I, it i i th uh, i feel now that i have the 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 situation in two, two years hasn't changed the measures are the same but i've changed i think the, the situation the, the, has changed as well because um of how they played with the measures um, the uh, game was the same the the game is very very clear and is becoming more and more clear in those two years and um, and the fact that there's so much um, um, stinky stink mm -hmm. somewhere buried i think it will come out and it will keep coming out until it's gone and it doesn't stink anymore mm -hmm. And I think that might be... That's also uh, working on the shadow side, on the dark yeah. side. We have to shine a light, literally shine a light on that. Yeah, and keep your nose closed, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think the year that is coming um, will bring more of this stinky stink to light. Mm -hmm. and we saw a beginning uh, last year or this year and I think it will go on in the next year until the well is empty and it doesn't stink anymore we can you have to clean it out you have to clean it out and whilst yeah. cleaning it out you have to start building towards yeah. the new normal mm -hmm. what you want to be normal not what anybody else wants to be the I new normal but what we yeah uh, want to be the new normal and deep in our hearts we know what that is i think so too yeah because with our with our own spark we know what normal is yeah and this is definitely not normal the last two years no nowhere near anything normal no so it, it, it's also given us an opportunity to reflect on because um, we've taken the, the the old normal for granted oh, yeah. and now we can reflect on oh this is is what we lost and then we can reflect on um, how we want to rebuild because not everything was right but how how do we want to rebuild what's new yep in the new year there's a lot there's a lot to be done that there, there will be some sort of power struggle and being in our own power will make us 
successful. This is an advice of making of of uh, making it a success by um, focusing our attention. I think it's a beautiful layout. Yeah, when I was uh, going through that little book that's going with this desk, yeah, uh, I opened it on this one. You did. Yep. Okay. Wow. Synchronicity. Yeah. And um, I started to sit again. Start meditating again. I did it a lot in the past as a Buddhist, but I somehow I somehow lost track of it during the day. And I was thinking, no, 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 no. I forgot something very important. <laughs> what was it? And I was thinking, I sit. I used to sit and I didn't sit. So let's sit. It's important to sit. And focus, focus on, um, on your breath or on your heartbeat. And if thoughts come, just let them pass through. Don't cling to them. Don't, don't hang on. Mm -hmm. And it's cute. I, I'm, I'm always curious to see what is coming by. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes 10 times the same thought, like, oh my goodness, this is tiresome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's moments. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, yeah. Let's sit and start breathing again. Yeah. Don't yeah. Come back to your breathing. Yeah. Beautiful. It's what's asked of us to do right now. Sit and focus and, yeah, and manifest this, uh, the good outcome. But also to, to stay as calm as possible. Because you cannot uh, act when you're distraught. No. And when you're calm and when, you, when it's time to act, it will be a very focused action. Because you have to break through your own layers before you get to the layer what you want to break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you cannot do it when you're all over the place in your mind. No. No. So, I think um, all the, the journey that we've had um, has prepared us for this moment. All this, this work, all this meditating, all this self, all this self work, all this reflection, reflecting on our, our actions, healing our wounds, oh, healing yeah. our traumas. Um, so I think it, for me, it has prepared me for this moment. And being focused and, and not being all over the place. Um, and I think it's very reassuring that that is all I have to do right now. I think it's very reassuring. I think it fits this, this winter season to okay. go inside, to focus, and, and that's it. Yeah, very reassuring. Yeah, for <laughs> me too. And I hope for all of you out there too. Yeah. <laughs> might not be uh, everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's important to, uh, to make a start in your own way. Yeah, you can meditate while you sit on your cushion or on your chair or follow your breath when you're on the toilet or when you walk through nature. It doesn't have to be uh, static. No, you don't have to build a temple <laughs> oh, or, no. or have an altar or have a special cushion. No, no way. You can focusing on your breath can you can do it anywhere. Yep. No restrictions. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you think it's all right to wrap uh, it up? To wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas and a happy 2022. Yay! <laughs> Have the greatest uh, season. Merry Christmas, a happy new year. And we'll see you back in 2022. <laughs> Bye!